frustrated with this with this quality of camera. Well, it's not a pixel. Can't be frustrated with this view though. No. no. So this is Bussy Lake. Man, this is a well used space. <laughs> Love the barbecue out of control over there. <laughs> <laughs> you had a time like that in your dorm room, were in your Oh right, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that much out of control, but it was okay. it was enough to smoke up the hall. <laughs> Brian is referencing a time my freshman year in college where I decided to it was December, January, it was January. And it was a J term, so like nobody was in dorm. And I wanted to do a barbecue. It was cold outside, so I thought I'll light the barbecue in the dorm room and then carry it outside when it's lit. Logic checks out. Logic checks out. And I did. And right when I, when my red flags went up, hey, this is too much smoke, <laughs> I uh, sort of ran it out and put it underneath my window. I was on the first floor. So I put it underneath my window and then came back in. And I mean, like, as soon as I got back into the room, the door flies open. And there's the RA. What the hell's going on? What are you doing? There's smoke all over the place. I'm like, really? No, I don't know. What's going on? He's like, what, what are you burning? What, you? what? I go, well, I have a barbecue. It's outside my window. Is it in here? Are you on fire in here? Like, no, no, it must. You know, I'm sorry. I have my window cracked. It must have just come right in the door. He was pissed. And I was so lucky. Oh my God, I would have been kicked off dorm. I've told you this, I would have been kicked off dorm. Uh -huh. I'm sure I would have, like, the school might have even suspended me. Uh-huh. Which <laughs> they did a year later anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, what did we you always get what's meant to come to <laughs> that's us. That's right. It's, uh, if it's not this year, it's next year. <laughs> oh, we got you on our sights, Madeline. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What is it? Fat, drunk, and dumb is no way to go through life. <laughs> That's an animal house line. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's a fun movie. All right, uh, last hike, Lake Geneva. That was our last hike. Mm-hmm. We're not doing this every week. Quick 22 miles. Yeah. Uh, we talked about Switzerland and how Lake Geneva was comparable to, you know, a, a lot of the good hikes in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. This amount of utility of people using all the aspects of the park, that's very Swiss. Okay. Uh, the park's not nearly this big, generally, <laughs> unless you're on the side of a mountain. Mm -hmm. But uh, having kind of like this many people, not as much as where we started, but always people utilizing nature. That's definitely a very, very common Swiss. Oh, that's great. Including the fires everywhere. It's just, uh -huh. just neat stuff. That's solid. Yeah. Hey, we're back on. Great. Oh, hey, you didn't do your uh, 360 intro. I did. You did? Yeah. Oh, God. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, we came over here because, oh, we are so late in the year, We are our clocks changed last night. Yeah. Sun's going to set at 4.30. Oh, yeah. And uh, we are cross-country boogieing over to the water here because there's sailboats, and they are cruising. I'm going to see one pop through here, I think. Hopefully they don't tag. they're turning around at this point. Look at that. Oh, cats. Cool, catamarans. That's a great idea. This is a big lake. That dude is on one. Yeah. That's a trimaran. Uh, couple that I follow sailing with Vagabond yeah. uh, they have given up their catamaran that was given to them a million dollar catamaran yeah. uh, as part of uh, uh, marketing they've given that up and they've built a tri 
with a, it's like zero net zero uh, footprint. Really cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just getting a phone call, so I gotta turn off and answer the call. Okay.